pacing picked up in Act Three. Pacing finally picked up in Act Three. And uh, Mrs. Pat, make sure you talk to Carrie about the box. So this is our 45th anniversary, and 45 years ago, 1967, we did the Curious Savage in this auditorium. And I had the opportunity to direct my first show here at Garden Spot, which was this show. One thing I meant to ask you, Doctor. Will Mother be exposed to any danger here? Well, so this is really my first full-out play, and it's a lot of fun. I like the time period. Um, I love the cast. It's a great cast. It's, like, it's a small cast, so we're all a lot closer to each other. Um, actually, I was not familiar with the show, so I didn't know really any of the roles. Um, but whenever I was asked to read for this part, I connected with her right away, and I could definitely see myself like portraying this role. The show takes place um, in a residential facility, for lack of a better word. Um, in the script, it's called a Cloisters. Um, Stan and I have been working very adamantly with the kids to try and get them out of the habit of calling it a nut house or an asylum or anything pejorative. The guests in the swing are in their final stages of treatment. They're very kind and cooperative, and on the surface, would appear just as normal as, say, yourself, Saturday. The facility is home to a group of primarily young people in their 20s and 30s, um, each of whom, unfortunately, is suffering some kind of a psychological condition. I forgot. And I wish you wouldn't single me out to kiss. And, uh, it's like these five people who have been placed there, they have the real aspect of life. The people on the outside, the senator and the judge and the Lily Bell, the main thing they're interested in is the money. Samuel, darling, we have done what has had to be done. Now let's not quarrel about it. Please. Lily Bell is right. This is civilized behavior. Because their mother, who they put into this sanatorium, is harboring $10 million. And they would like to have a taste of the $10 million. And so she goes into this sanatorium and befriends all of these wonderful people. We haven't had anyone exciting here since that magician's wife. Remember, she was all nerves for being sawed in half so much. And the doctor says within the framework of the show, he says, sometimes I'd like to put the relatives here and let the other people go. This is the cloisters. This is to be your new home. I am Dr. Evan. Wouldn't it be fascinating if human beings lit up like fireflies when they were mating? Do you light up when you're mating, Lily Bell? Lord knows you're flighty. Florence is a caretaker. She is the mother of everyone who lives at the Cloisters. She doesn't want anything to die, doesn't want anything bad to happen. Introduce ourselves. You must be Mrs. Savage. I'm Florence Williams. How do you do? We've been expecting you all afternoon, and we're so glad to have you with us. And if you look behind me, um, you can see the labor of love that has been our set for the past six, seven weeks. Um, we are all so proud of this. Um, the, the facility is supposed to be set uh, turn of the century home um, in New England. And so you can see all of the architectural detail that's gone into this. I, I wouldn't mind moving in, renting the place, giving up my place in Lancaster. But when they suggested that we do a another 45 year show, I thought, why not take The Curious Savage and revive that, I don't want to sell it a revival, but it, it is a revival. And so it was neat to have this group of students actually be here and want to do a show like this. And it's one of the first shows we've done in years where it's a full, beautiful set. And so it was a challenge to, to do that set and it takes place in the 40s. And so it's really uh, exciting to, uh, to see it all sort of come together. And can I tell you, it's just exciting for me 45 years later.